Hi! I thought it might be fun to learn about some Swedish traditions and just to see what I think of them because obviously they're going to be very different to me and I'm not going to really understand them. So yeah, I thought it might just kind of be fun to learn about them a little bit. So obviously I know about Midsummer, and I have been to a few Midsummer parties. It just celebrates the summer solstice and you know, the flower crowns and the maypole dance, which I've never seen in person, but I've seen pictures of and I have seen the movie Midsummer, and ever since seeing that, it's just a little bit weird, like, I know it's not like, you know, a cult or anything, obviously. It looks like the maypole might have like different reasons, at least that's what like Google is saying, is that there are like a few different meanings behind it. So if anyone knows the actual meaning of it, I would love if you would let me know what that is. But yeah, I like the idea of Midsummer, and it always is really pretty, at least in the pictures that I've seen. I believe you're supposed to wear white and like the flower crowns. So yeah. And then I guess there is Valborg. And it is an important Swedish tradition marking the beginning of spring and all the tasks associated with spring. So that doesn't really give me too much information. I guess, I don't know. Let's see, how do you celebrate? Oh, okay, I think I have heard of this one before. You celebrate it by lighting large bonfires, singing spring themed songs, blasting fireworks, and for the young adults, partying it up a bit. Oh, okay. But yeah, I think I have heard of like, there's like one night a year or something where everybody has like bonfires that I think I want to say I have heard of. It sounds fun and it's, what is it for again? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I think it was for the spring. Yes, marking the beginning of spring. I thought it was like at the end of summer though, but I guess I was wrong. I don't know what the winters are like here. So, but obviously it's a tradition, so you can have bonfires at the beginning of spring here. So that's fun. Maybe this year I'll be able to go to one of the little parties. Saint Lucia Day is another one. I think that is how you pronounce it. It also says Saint Lucy's Day, but I don't know if that's just how you would say it in English. That's what it says here. It says St. Lucy's Day is also called the Feast of St. Lucy. It is a Christian feast day observed on December 13th. So it's on December 13th. I don't know. There are pictures here of like little, I wanna say crowns, but it's not right. Little, yeah, I guess it is crowns, but like candles on it. What is, okay, here we go. That's, that is not helpful, that is terrifying. So let, let me see if I can find, it sounded like they said St. Lucia. So I hope that's right. It's a festival of lights celebrated in Sweden, Norway, and Swedish speaking areas of Finland on December 13th in honor of St. Lucia. The festival marks the beginning of the Christmas season in Scandinavia, and it is meant to bring hope and light during the, dark, the darkest time of the year. So that's nice, that's cute. Festival of Lights, that sounds really awesome actually. Let me see some pictures. It's all pictures of people wearing candle crowns and bread. So this is interesting. It's cool though. I feel like there's a day for everything in America. Uh, this day, uh, that day. 
and I don't get the people who really like post about it. Like I get like, you know, like daughter day or Sunday, like you post about your daughter and stuff, but like, in, you know, donut day sounds pretty good too actually, because then maybe get free donuts, but I don't know. Oh, there's a waffle day here. But I feel like, like growing up in America, there were never Sunday, like daughter day, donut day, coffee day, whatever day, this day, that day. There were never those things. I feel like just recently in the past few years, has that become more of a thing? And every year I hear about like different ones. I don't know. Glog. Let's hear that one more time. Glog. Glog. Now I was gonna say glog before I did that, but then I was like, glog doesn't sound right. But according to Google, it's glog. I hope that that is how you actually pronounce it. I would assume so if that's what Google is saying, but yeah, I've got no idea. It is a traditional Nordic drink during the winter, especially around Christmas. Glog is a holiday favorite in many Scandinavian cultures where it is commonly served on St. Lucia's Day and all around Christmas time. What is it? It's hot wine. Hot Hot wine has been a common drink since at least the 16th century. The original form of glog is a spiced liquor as consumed by messengers and postmen who traveled on horseback or skis in cold weather. That is interesting. The more you know, it sounds horrible, hot wine, but I also just don't like wine to begin with. So that probably just wouldn't be a drink for me. Somebody, a few a few different people were actually telling me in my comments about St. Lucia Day, and I was curious about it. It's interesting. I definitely should look more into exactly what it is, but, you know. This is also crayfish, like a crayfish party. Somebody was also telling me about this in the comments a while back. Crayfish parties are an annual tradition in Sweden where people come together to eat crayfish and spend time together. The crayfish parties normally take place in August and mark the end of summer. How do you celebrate? All right. How is crayfish party celebrated in Sweden? The Swedes eat a lot of crayfish in August as a time-honored tradition. They celebrate this crayfish festival by eating mountains of crustaceans while wearing very silly hats and singing very silly songs. So, I mean, the pictures look fun. Like, this looks like a lot of fun. Everyone's just wearing cute little party hats, sitting around a table. The crayfish I would have nothing to do with, but it looks fun, just gathered around the people you care about. Weird that it's crayfish, though. Why is it crayfish? Let's see if we can find this out. What do you eat at a crayfish party? Well, that seems pretty, pretty silly of a question to ask. Why? Why do you eat crayfish at a crayfish party? Back in the early 1900s, Sweden introduced restrictions on river crayfishing. This was due to the risk of overfishing and the season was then limited to a couple of months from August. That doesn't make any sense. The season was then limited to a couple of months from August. Okay, crayfish thus became an exclusive and much sought after delicacy. So that is why, I guess that is why. <laughs> that is why a crayfish party is a crayfish party because way back in the day, they were exclusive and a delicacy. So I don't know if now there are more or I don't know. Okay, so this one I was excited about until I found out that I just missed it. So Cinnamon Fun Day is on October 4th. It is currently October 7th and I just missed it. So that, why didn't anybody tell me about this? It is an annual theme day created for marketing purposes in Sweden and Finland. 
that was instituted in 1999 by, I'm not going to pronounce that name because I will thoroughly mess it up and sound like an idiot. What is Cinnamon Bay Bun name? Cinnamon Bun Day. <laughs> okay, this is something a little bit different. Cinnamon Bun Day is celebrated every year on October 4th in Sweden. Yes, we know that. The Home Baking Council started the tradition in 1999 as a way to honor household traditions. One thing I do have to say, cinnamon buns is a big tradition in my family because every year on Christmas morning, we eat cinnamon rolls. But I have to say, cinnamon rolls in America are better. I do love cinnamon rolls here, don't get me wrong. The little crunchy sugar pearls, great. But, they, I don't know. There's just something about cinnamon rolls in America. Because you've got like the glaze where it's like the frosting and it's like all like sticky and gooey and soft. And it's so good and you just, I mean you can't go wrong with a cinnamon roll at all. But American cinnamon rolls just are better. So don't. Don't hate me and don't come at me for that, but I will stand my ground and say so, because it is true. Anyway, I think that is a good amount for today. I'm sad I missed cinnamon all day, but there's always next year, or I will just eat cinnamon rolls on a non-cinnamon roll day. Yeah, anyway, I had a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.